Hello and welcome to 101 Ideas for Minecraft Learners. In this episode we're looking at profiles and how to set them up and how to actually play different versions of Minecraft within your own launcher. So let's uh, dig in and have a look around at, uh, at Minecraft Launcher. So this is what it looks like when we first start up. And most of the time, people just press this one down here. They press play, and you can get to play the latest off to the latest version of Minecraft, uh, and you can play it with everybody else. And that's because your profile is often set to, uh, to, do, to display or to kind of play the latest version of Minecraft for you. Let's just go through this a little bit right here. So we've got all this kind of information in the background, which is the Minecraft news. And we can see it says Minecraft 1.7.9. We've pushed out an update, blah, 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 which is fantastic. Now that's update notes, and that's in this tab up here. We've also got development console here. And we've got a little bit of uh, sort of codey text that's coming through that kind of so it's, that's that's what the actual uh, launcher is uh, is kind of spitting out. <laughs> uh, we've also got a profile editor, and these are all the different profiles I have got on my uh, on my launcher. I've got a forge. I've got some, I've got my stampy stuff. I've got latest. I've got some snapshot stuff, and I've got the common people. And we can see the common people is one point seven point five. I've got a snapshot running. That's running a latest snapshot. I've got the latest one, uh, which it often just auto updates. I've got a Stampy version, and that's because I did that uh, when Stampy came to tea. And I've got some Forge stuff at the moment, and uh, that's all playing there. And you can see the usernames associated with that too. This uh, Within this profile editor, if you're unhappy with the profile, for example, this Forge one here, we can select it, right-click it, and we can either open the game folder, delete the profile, copy it, or add a profile. So sometimes if you want to get rid of them, if you've got too many down here, uh, and you think, hmm, how do I get rid of them? Just pop into the profile editor up here, right click it, and you can de delete that profile easy peasy. Uh, then we've got local version editor, and these are all the different local versions that I've actually got on my computer. Uh, so let's go back to update notes and uh, let's go down into the profile thing down here. So as you can see, I'm going to be playing, I want to play on the snapshot, so I can just select my snapshot there and press play. And I'm playing that under Professor Adam, okay, which is my new uh, avatar name. Uh, I've also, you know, we can and we can also log out of that and log into, uh, you know, and maybe another profile, uh, another um, Minecraft name, another Minecraft account, essentially. If we want to create a new profile, we can just go over here. If we want to edit the current one, the snapshot, we can do it here. So let's just go and edit a new profile, and I'll show you uh, create a new profile, and I'll show you how what it all looks like and the kind of things you can do with it. So press new profile, and we get this window here. Uh, and I'll, what, what, I'll call this tutorial, very original. <laughs> uh, and there's our tutorial. We can change the game directory if we want to, but I'm going to leave it as it is. We can set the resolution. This is really useful, especially if you're doing any Let's Plays, uh, because uh, the resolution will, will uh, the, the resolution of the game will adhere to whatever resolution you, you want, and you can set that here. I've got an H, a HD resolution of 720. Uh, which is 1280 by 720, but you can kind of do as uh, so people do 1920 uh, by uh, 1080, and that's a, that's a nice big HD version as well. And it says here, automatically ask Mojan for assistance with fixing crashes. Well, that just sends a little uh, email off to them. And um, we can actually keep launcher visibility, so we can actually close launcher or keep it launch open or hide launcher and stuff like that. I just I generally leave that as it is. Uh, then there's this one, and often it's just like this. So, so down here, it's like at the moment it will use the latest version of Minecraft. Okay, so I want uh, I want to enable experimental. Uh, what's it say? Are you sure you want to enable development build? Yes, I am sure. Uh, uh, that means we can use snapshots. Now snapshots are the kind of next version of Minecraft that are, that are coming up, the up and coming versions of Minecraft. And I love using snapshots because often they have new blocks in or, or kind of new ways of working or kind of especially new kind of command blocks and things like that. So that's a really useful for someone like me who likes kind of experimenting and kind of living on a kind of what's coming next within Minecraft kind of space. And if you're if you watch anybody like someone like Dragnos or um, uh, even a couple of other YouTubers, they they kind of like looking at kind of uh, uh, the snapshots and how they're working. And so we can prepare ourselves and create maps for people uh, when there's a new snap when the new when it stops being a snapshot and we get sort of 1.8 or 1.9 or whatever the next version of Minecraft is going to be. Now here we have. Uh, two other buttons. So it says allow use of old beta Minecraft versions and allow use of old alpha versions of Minecraft from 2010. So let's go right back and make sure 
These are very outdated, maybe unstable. Any bugs? Yes, that's fine. Uh, yes, so that th these are just uh, warning messages telling us that if it all goes horribly wrong, it is my own fault. <laughs> okay, so I've uh, made the made sure in version selection, I've ticked all my little boxes. Okay, we've got some Java settings down here, which are quite interesting, and I'm just going to leave them be for the time being. And now we can say which version I want to use. So uh, what, let's do. Uh, Let's do alpha, okay? Tutorial alpha. So I'm going to try and use the fir very first version of Minecraft. So here, which version? We go all the way back, all the way back, all the way back. Uh, so I think that is that, the very first. This looks like the very first one. So I'm going to save this profile. Uh, and I'm going to go to tutorial alpha. There we go. Uh, ready to download and play. So just press play now it's going to just download that version of Minecraft that we want uh, it may take a little bit of a while there it goes chugging away gently so I'll speed this bit up and there we go boom <laughs> so this is the very first version of Minecraft that there was and as you can see I can I press <laughs> I just press escape and it just disappeared Okay, so I'm back. I, I press escape and managed to quit it somehow. So I'm just left clicking. If I right click, I delete. If I left click, I place. Ah, oh, look at this. I'm deleting my way down. So this is the very first uh, version of Minecraft that there was. And of course, there's not much to it. There's a left click block, and there's not, not even a block choice, and a right click, uh, which is um, sort of destroy block. So place and and I can jump and I've got a mouse look around and stuff like that. So you know, pretty interesting. Um, and um, and grateful kind of historically looking at a game's development, which I suppose for me is partly why I think this is this is goes into the 101 ideas for Minecraft learners. We are now looking at the um, the historical development of Minecraft. Uh, so you can actually use this as a way to kind of look back in time and see how Minecraft the early stages of the game all the way to the later stages and what it is today. So let's edit that profile again and uh, instead of the old alpha let's go forward in time a little bit um, all the way to uh, the old beta okay and I'll save that profile and I'm gonna press play. Okay here we are and uh, this is uh, Minecraft beta uh, the very first beta and we can see we've got single player we've got multiplayer we've got multi texture packs and options wow let's go to single player and um, my goodness me we've got a few worlds here let's do uh, world one. let's uh, let's do an empty one here so we're generating a level let's see what it looks like saving chunks fantastic Whoa, here we go, look at this. So, look, look at gravel looks a bit different than it did. Um, we have snow, which is interesting. <laughs> and uh, our trees, look, everything looks fairly familiar. Let's press, uh, oh look, here we go. So, there we go, this is what beta used to look like. Fantastic, we haven't got any hunger bars. We haven't got anything else, uh, and that's the kind of this is the kind of world that um, that we occupy now. I can hear running water. Oh, oh, there are sheep here as well, which is fantastic. So there are animals, and there's some. Oh, look at those clouds! I remember those clouds. These kind of very strange cuboid kind of cubic clouds. Fantastic. Well, there you go. There's uh, there's the first beta. Um, Okay, so where we go? Uh, options. Oh, we got distance render far. So, oh, we can limit frame rate and we can change our controls. So fantastic. I'll just turn that off and we'll go and look at how we can install a snapshot. So from the beta to kind of the current one to the snapshots, the future versions of Minecraft. So let's edit the profile again. And we've had a look at alpha. We've had a look at the first beta. Uh, and we can go all the way, all the way down, and we can see we've got the release, the first release. This is when it officially got released, and there is release 1.0. Uh, and we can see as we go through all the, there's the first ever snapshot there, 
So we can kind of go and we can say we can see all the releases and the snapshots. Now if we just zoom all the way to the top, we can say we can see we can see use the latest version. And just below that, we've got snapshot 14w11b. So if you want to use a snapshot, you can click this one. You can save that profile and you can press play. And it will download that version of Minecraft. It will store it in a special, a special, its own little folder, if you like. And then you'll be able to play that version of Minecraft. And it won't interfere with any other versions of Minecraft. My only warning would be that if you create a world uh, in for you know in a in a snapshot, and you then try go and then you go back and play that world within a different version of Minecraft, things will break. Okay, so just be careful and be cautious about and which worlds you're playing on. You may you may find you may experience crashes and other things like that as well. So let's go into single player. Let's go. Let's just create a new world, survival, create a new world, and just we'll just pop in here, see what it looks like. Um, I might even uh, just turn on cheats, and you can see all the kind of new stuff that's available in the new snapshot. I think there's um, uh, the most exciting thing for us would be the um, <laughs> oh dump, and you can see how different it looks. Look at this so much more polished to it the the kind of just look of it uh, the trees and the clouds looking fine and dandy so let's just uh, I need to open up to land allow cheats on and start a land world so I can actually change my game mode to one uh, which means we can open up this stuff so we've got something like polished diorite uh, I wonder if I could put slime in as well we've also got these beautiful things slime decoration blocks and there's a lovely wolf um, slime box uh, are pretty fun you can um, because you can bounce on them <laughs> uh, and make bouncy things. So they're always quite good for you. You could even. Um, I wonder if we could get the, the dog on to bounce. Probably not. Come on, doggy. Come on, doggy, bounce. <laughs> Didn't bounce very well. Anyway, uh, I better like that. Let that dog out. Sorry, sorry, doggy. Um, I'll fly about now and uh, I'll leave you with there. So let's just uh, save and quit to title. Um, and quit game. So let's just go over some of the kind of the key issues that you're going to need to understand before you start doing any of this stuff for yourself. Remember, you've got a profile editor, which means you can go into here and we can select uh, the profile that you've just created. And if you don't like it, you can just delete it. Are you sure you want to delete it? Yeah, delete that. Okay, uh, if you want to edit a profile, you can just sort of select a profile. Uh, you can set it down here. Maybe we want to do, um, I want to change Stampy. Um, there we go. And I'm going to edit the profile. The profile editor will up, come up here like this. It's, 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 in its own window. And that's both the same for PC version of Minecraft, Linux version of Minecraft, and uh, Mac version of Minecraft. It means that we can change the resolution. So that's always quite interesting. Here you can see I've got it at 1920 by 1080. Okay, so I've got a nice big version, nice HD version, and that's what I filmed it in. Uh, we can enable experimental development builds, and that's if we want to use the future versions of Minecraft, the snapshots. We've also got allow old beta versions of Minecraft and old alpha versions of Minecraft as well. But remember, they are, you know, they can be buggy, they can crash, they can just flip out and stuff like that. Once you've got all that kind of set up, you save your profile and just press play. Um, why is this any, uh, any use? It's good for taking a look at how Minecraft was in the past and seeing it as a historical documents and seeing historical builds of Minecraft. It's also useful for future developments and discovering what the future advancements of Minecraft are going to be and playing along with us as well. I hope that's been really useful and helpful to you. And uh, hopefully, if you haven't already subscribed, please do subscribe to uh, the channel. It really helps the channel. Look out for any more 101 ideas for Minecraft learners. Until next time, thank you very much for watching. Goodbye. Yeah.